What's good, drumheads? And welcome to another episode of What to Practice, where I show you what I'm practicing. Oh, the dreaded quintuplet. Everybody's playing them now. It's the hip thing to do. Probably never gonna use it, but you'll get a lot of likes on Instagram. So, today we're gonna learn some quintuplets. I've only explored basic quintuplet beats, so I would not consider myself fluent in the world of quintuplets at all. You have those drummers like Annika Nils, she's like the first one that comes to mind. She's like the queen of quintuplets. Jonathan Green on Instagram, he's freaking insane. So I figured, you know what, since everyone else is doing it, peer pressure, I wanna freaking do it. So the other day I bought a little journal so I can kind of log practice ideas that I have, maybe when I'm not on the kit, or use it as a practice log when I'm behind the kit to kind of like write in things that I've practiced. So I wrote 14 different quintuplet grooves. These are all basically kick snare hat grooves. Uh, the kick is always on the one, the snare is always on the two. I did it that way just to keep it simple. I mainly want to focus on my hands with this stuff. So I'm guessing a lot of this is going to be ear training because some of these patterns I haven't heard before uh, and I kind of want to get used to that. I want to hear those like different hi-hat patterns and um, just explore the realm of quintuplets. I'll put each of the transcriptions up on the screen for each groove. But if you want to see all of them right now, all right, if you have a MacBook, Command Shift 4, and you can take a screenshot. If you have a PC, then I don't know what to tell you. I feel sorry for you. All right, so I'm going to take these grooves to the kits. I'm going to play them slow, internalize them, try and speed them up a little bit while still making them feel nice. It's probably going to be tough to make quintuplets feel nice because they're quintuplets, but I'm going to try. And then after that, maybe I'll add some extra kick drums or whatever, or move my hands around, try and explore with each groove. So, I'm not really gonna teach these to you, but you can watch and try the grooves yourself if you would like. Hopefully after this little practice sesh, then maybe I will have expanded my quintuplet vocabulary. That way I can get that Justin Bieber gig. Alrighty, Brandon, thank you so much for submitting an application to play for Justin Bieber. Uh, before we get started, I see here under the quintuplet section, you haven't written anything down? Yeah, I, I just really haven't. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. But it's a pop Yeah, game. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Alright, where's it gonna go? Put the notation there. Number one, every single quintuplet, only with the right hand on the hi-hat, no accents. This is basically just to get used to the feel. I just wanted the bare bones. That's the bare bones. In reality, I should probably sit there and do that for like half an hour. But I'm not gonna. We're gonna move on. It's kind of tiring with one hand. What if you accent and ghost every other one? Right, so then it's gonna flip. Because I feel like that motion's easier to do. So let's try it. Ah, yo. Ah, God. That's weird. Because the first five, you're accenting the downbeats, and then the next five starts with this. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's weird. Moving on. Number two. Same groove, but just adding ghost notes in on the three and the four. If we're thinking about it like that. That's how I'm thinking about it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, ghost, ghost, five. Hey, we're only on number two and we're creating some spicy groovage. Let's see if I can play this one at 80 beats per minute. No, not 80. Number three. What the frick is going on here? What 
the frick is going? Oh no. I gotta slow this down. What the frick is that? That's not even cool. Whoa, that sounds cool with two kick drums there. So I just put a kick drum after the ghost notes. It sounded stupid without that extra kick drum, but once I added that extra kick drum there, that made that groove sick as f All right. Numero quattro! I got some ghosties in the beginning and some ghosties at the end. I think maybe that's what I was thinking. Surrounding the kick drum. Ghosties around the kick drum. Alright, let's try it. No click. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna try an accent. The third hi hat note. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh! Ooh, that's pretty cool. A simple accent made that one sound sick too. All right, next one. Uh, I see basically my hands are just going right, left, right, left, right, left the whole way through. I feel like this one's pretty good for ear training because you're hearing both sides of it. You're hearing your right hand and your left hand. You're hearing those down beats and the up beats of the quintuplets. Should be simple, but should be weird on the ear. polyrhythmic thing, you know? Accent every other note. That's spicy. Let's see how fast we can do it. 100? Some things just don't sound good at a high tempo. That just kind of sounded like I was playing crappily. All right, number six. We're accenting the one, the three, and the four on the hi-hat, filling in the rest with ghost notes. So even around that accent on the back beat, got a ghost note before it, got a ghost note after it. Son of a gun, this is gonna suck. All right, let's give it a shot. So you can play it off the ride, move your left hand to the hi-hat to replace those ghost notes maybe. Let's hear how it sounds. Trying to move that kick drum. Number seven. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. That's what's going on there. Alright, Brandon, let's go. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty weird. So those doubles on the hi-hat, I'm gonna accent that second note there, so it's like... That's 
weird. What if we moved to the ride? No way. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Can't do it. Number eight. All right, so we got some triples here. Right, left, right, right, right. Left, right, left, left, left. Why? Why? All right, first thing that comes to mind is I want to accent that last note on the hi-hat of the three in a row, so. Because that's easier, I think. You're used to doing that motion. So, let's try that. Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm gonna try and put two kicks right before that accent on the hi-hat. That's pretty cool. Never gonna use that one. Ever. All right, number nine. We got a random pattern here. I wrote the R there above the backbeat, meaning we're gonna bring our right hand down to the snare for the backbeat. So, let's see what's going on. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. This video is gonna be so long. I'm already 40 minutes into this. Holy shit. All right. Easy enough. I feel like that one's pretty basic. Number 10. What the frick do we got here? Uh, we got a hi-hat foot there. Okay. Right before the snare. So we got right, left, right, left foot. Together. A little ghosty with the left hand after the back beat. Right, left, left. This one seems pretty weird. So this one, that one and three are kind of your anchor. Your hi-hat's going. Well, that's kind of what I'm listening to. Uh, let's try it with the metronome. Number 11. This is basically the same thing as number 7, but we have uh, an extra hi-hat over the backbeat, so it's now non-linear. I didn't know that as I was doing this, but let's check it out. Right, right, left, left, right together, left, right, right, left. Let's do it. Like a weird offbeat shuffle thing. So I'm accenting the second note of all those hi-hats, so like that. It comes out pretty cool actually. I think I feel myself already a bit more comfortable with playing quintuplets just from this one session of going through these. 
Uh, I feel like my ear is hearing those individual notes a bit easier. That's amazing. I've only been working on this stuff now for like an hour and a half here. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that one. All right, number 12. What the heck? Is this a joke? What was I thinking? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so we're gonna accent the last note of these groups of hi-hats. So I'm gonna think of this as one flowy thing. That's pretty interesting. So we're using our hi-hat foot right after those downbeats. That's pretty sick, actually. some weird stuff there. Number 13, what do we got? What? So I don't see any pattern in this one. Oh. So this one, the last hi-hat, kind of goes into the hi-hat in the beginning, so since there's a hi-hat at the very end, you kind of have to be prepared for that. Ah, I messed up the ending! Alright, that one's pretty cool. Number 14, we got some triples in there. Right, 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 left. But we got triples and a foot on the hi-hat. This is crazy. Oh, I see, what's I see what's happening. So the overall theme is right, 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 left foot. One, two, three, four, five. kick and snare on that. <laughs> that hi-hat for the kick is impossible. That. Because you have to go... I feel like I'm going to teeter-totter. I can't even balance while doing that. sit right with the proper posture, I might be able to do it. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. I think it's a really good idea to get a little practice journal like this. That way when you're on the kit or off the kit, you can be writing your ideas down. And if you don't want to work on it now, you can always work on it later. And you'll always have it in here. So, hopefully you guys liked the video. Even after just practicing the quintuplets for like an hour, um, and doing those different grooves and the different stickings, I felt an improvement. Not only with like my physical playing, but also the ear training aspect of it. I'm not used to hearing quintuplets. And I'm so used to hearing triplets or straight time. And those quintuplets, it's really tough to hear, especially at the quicker tempos. So I'm excited to dig deeper and um, maybe build upon these grooves or come up with different other kind of exercises. But if there's anything that you guys want to see um, or anything that you think I should practice, like maybe put in the comments below, send me the YouTube link. If you guys liked the video, then feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe whatever the heck you want to do.
Also, if you want more lessons, you can head over to my website, brandonscottdrums.com. I only have a few lessons up there now, but there's some pretty cool topics talked on there and uh, longer videos, and I, I go more in depth into certain topics. So yeah, feel free to check out the website. Hit me up on Instagram. <sighs> I think that's it. This is gonna be a really long video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Peace.